All right, we're going to turn now to the coronavirus pandemic and the fears over two new COVID subvariants found in China and the United Kingdom. Are they more dangerous and should they be concerned here? So here to answer that is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. And Dr. Nandy, we can't shake it. I mean, what do you know about these new subvariants? Always something, right? Yeah. So the Glenn, the new uh, Omicron subtype found in China evolved from Omicron's BA1.1 branch. That's the original Omicron. It was first detected in a patient with a mild COVID case in the city of Suzhou, which borders Shanghai. Shanghai is currently experiencing a wave of infections. However, it's important to know the new subtype is not believed to be behind the surging cases. As for the new subvariant uh, in the United Kingdom, it's been called the XE. It's a recombinant. It's a fancy term that tells us that a person got infected with two viruses simultaneously. And as the virus replicated, genetic material was mixed together and a new variant was generated. So XE is a recombinant of Omicron's BA.1 and BA.2 strains. So does that make it more contagious? Well, it's been estimated to be about 10% more transmissible than BA2. Having said that, that number could change because there are only 637 cases in the UK as of March 22nd. 22nd. So not enough data to truly know how contagious XE is at this point, Glenda. So are we expected to face a new wave? Are we in for that wave to come? And should we be prepared in any way? Uh, it's an important question. So I think we should expect to see new waves of infections. That's not to say we'll have crazy high spikes, Glenda, as we saw back in January, but there's already an uptick in cases in, in many areas in the United States, like in the Northeast. So in my opinion, we all need to be prepared, right? Mostly because Omicron's highly contagious subvariant BA2 is the dominant strain. And also because we're seeing new subvariants pop up, like in the UK and China, like I talked about. So here's my advice. First of all, keep an eye on COVID-19 statistics in your county and wherever you may travel to. You can check out the CDC's COVID-19 community level map on their website. It shows new cases and hospital admissions. Also, always have backup plans for indoor activities and travel plans in case numbers rise. Also, order home COVID tests so you have some in hand if family members get sick and make sure you have good quality masks available. N95 masks is what I wear, uh, very highly protective, but Glenda, any mask mm -hmm. is better than no mask. And lastly, mm -hmm. please get boosted. Everyone who's eligible, I beg you to get boosted, but I'm concerned for Americans over 65. Only 70% got a booster shot, which means what? There are a lot of older folks out there whose initial protection may have decreased and they're more vulnerable now for severe illnesses. So please go out there and get boosted if you can. That's my advice. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you for joining us with that. We have to stay vigilant still. Absolutely, absolutely. the fight's not over. Okay. Thank you. Well, if you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at askdrnandy.com or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter and we'll get it right to him.